everyone this is holy gospel program i'm glad having you here and my name is evangelist grace uju emmanuel and i have my guest here can you tell us your name please my name is chizobo hakama you're highly welcome in this program thank you let us pray father we give you glory for this moment it's not us but it's all about you you tell us to go and preach this gospel but this gospel is not my gospel it's your own gospel and the Spirit of God, we welcome you to come and have your way. Bless our soul right now, and bless the soul of your those that watch in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, yeah, today's topic, the greatest thing that matter for Christ. And when you talk of greatest thing that matter for Christ, we have four groups and four things that matter for Christ. The first one, there is a question that goes, it says, which group are you in God's kingdom? And when you talk of these groups, you are in the Kong's kingdom, we have about four groups. And out of these four groups, we are going to be treated it one after the other. We are going to start with the first one, multitude group. And honestly, I'm going to invite my guests. This topic is, um, is going to uh, be treated uh, through her and let us hear what the Spirit of God have in her. Then I will come in later. Woman of God, can you tell us, as I said, four groups? The first group is called multitude group. Second group is called covenant group or relationship group. The third group is intimacy group. Then the last group is suffering group. So and today we're going to treat on the multitude group. So can you take over and tell us one of the things that matters for Christ, the greatest thing that matters for him when you talk about these four groups. So today we are treating on multitude group. Can you tell us about that please? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's look into Luke chapter 10, okay. verse 1. 10, 1, okay. Luke chapter 10, verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says, After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others mm -hmm. also, and sent them two by two before his face into every city mm -hmm. and place where he himself was about to go. Two says, Then he said to them, The harvest truly really is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send our to send out laborers into his harvest. Mm. So, the, the the scripture is telling us that the Lord appointed mm -hmm. seventy others, mm -hmm. seventy other disciples to go mm -hmm. and do what to go and preach the gospel, mm -hmm. to go and heal the sick, mm -hmm. to to go and raise the dead. Mm -hmm. So, to go and just do the miracle mm -hmm. they saw him doing, mm -hmm. he gave them the power. Mm -hmm. And we are talking about the multitudes. So 70 others, they are in the group of these multitudes. Okay. So these are the group of people that are doing what? Seeking God for what they can eat, what they can for eat. what they can get, mm -hmm. for what they can grab. Mm -hmm. Let's look at verse 17 of this chapter. Okay. Verse 17 says, then the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So these people, these men, they, 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 they witnessed the power of God. Mm -hmm. They witnessed, you know, the power, the, the, the power of Christ. Mm -hmm. People respected them because they called the shot. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. they were raising, they were doing miracles. Mm -hmm. And such thing can, you know, can... Can, uh, can bring uh, respect. Mm -hmm. So people respected and feared these people. Then these people, not only showcasing the power, mm -hmm. they came back, they were so happy mm -hmm. that that happened. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? Let's look at John 6. You know, you know because it is four, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to do it a short shot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's just, because of the time, let's look at um, John 6. Okay. John chapter 6. I'm going to read verse 60. 60. Yes, okay. ma'am. Verse 6. Okay. So, verse 6 of um, chapter 6 of John, verse 60 says, Therefore, many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Mm -hmm. Who can understand it? Mm hmm. Then look, let's look at 66, verse 66. Mm -hmm. From that time, many of his disciples went back and mm -hmm. walked with him no more. Mm -hmm. 
praise the lord hallelujah so i'm joking this together because of the time mm -hmm. so these people they i said they are the people that tested the power of god mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. then christ now wanted them to come into covenant he okay. wanted to go into covenant with these people okay. because he hate he he ate with them already mm -hmm. he fed them mm -hmm. you know he fed multitudes yes everywhere he goes he feed them mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. then the time the important thing that happened that matters to christ christ mm -hmm. wanted to bring them close wonderful for them to be mm -hmm. in covenant mm -hmm. that was when christ told them that he is the bread that came from heaven mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that they have to eat the flesh mm -hmm. his flesh and drink his blood okay then these people they were complaining how mm -hmm. can this guy say we can we have to eat his flesh and drink his blood mm -hmm. is this man not the son of joseph mm -hmm. the man we know mm -hmm. so how can we eat his flesh mm. they, they we are just so blind because they didn't know christ was talking about covenant mm. do, do you get it mm -hmm. so these people did what that was when they brought out what was in them mm -hmm. Do you yes. see it? Yes. So these people, they were the people that say, I love you, Jesus. I love you. I mm. love you. And they will gather around him. Mm -hmm. They will do things together. Mm -hmm. They will eat together. Mm -hmm. But the time, the important time came mm. when they're supposed to prove that love truly. Mm. Mm. They now betrayed Christ. Wow. When Christ told them about the covenant, mm. they did what? They said, no, we can't do this. Wow. These are the people that tested the miracle. Mm. These are the people that carried that, you know, lay hands upon the sick and they were wow. healed they demonstrated uh, the power they demonstrated the the, the action was too mm. much you oh, know wonderful. so but this at last what happened they walked out mm. they said they cannot do when this. they read the main jungle they said it's over it's christ over. we have grabbed what we want exactly and so we can't go deeper with you so these ones i call them freelancers freelancers they are not high they're can everywhere you, can you describe them more freelancers bring them to free, what is happening in the church that today. is what i'm trying to do that okay. you know okay these people they are freelancers mm -hmm. you cannot trust them they are not trustworthy they're not trustworthy okay this crowd uh, these multitudes they are not trustworthy you mm. can't trust them they are not committed they are not committed they that, are not you mm, cannot that is why they disappoint them. christ exactly when he now tell them guys i'll feed you now let's go into the main thing i came that's for that's right they deserted that's right mm. so they cannot be committed you cannot trust them okay they are freelancers they are users let are me users. ask you guys mm. a question mm. Mm. if you have a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. if a friend calls you anytime he or she is in need mm -hmm. How will you feel this mm. is a friend that has not spoken to you for five years mm. or a year or mm -hmm. three months or six months mm. but he has a need and he calls upon you how mm. will you feel mm. because that person needed the help mm. so you feel used this person is using me mm. and that is what we do to christ mm. this is the the multitude this so is this is the way we are using christ exactly mm. we don't want to people don't want to do anything with him mm. they don't want to know him. they only just they don't want to want, get something they, they don't know that christ has something mm. you know that he has a need mm. but they don't want to know mm. it's only when you come close then you know the need of somebody Okay. do you understand okay. but these ones they don't want yeah they're, as i said they are freelancers it is happening in missouri city mm -hmm. they will run there mm -hmm. oh this man of god came in sugarland mm. they will run mm. in in west timer a mm. man of god they are mm. can he see can he prophesy mm. these are the freelancers no, they are I, not committed they are anyway. not committed do you yes. know what somebody when we are having uh the last program mm -hmm. so one of uh, us invited one woman and the, do you know the first question, the funny question he asked the woman? Mm -mm. Does your general mentor see vision? <laughs> Does she <laughs> prophesy? If she doesn't prophesy, I don't think I will come for that program. That's the and I say, hmm. That's the red thing. thing. That's how they behave. This is amazing. These are the most. So these are the, uh, uh, what do you call Multitudes. them? Multitudes. Uh, you, you call them the freelancers. Name, uh, freelancers. That's it. So they only come where they will grab and they grab and go. Grab. And these are the there, things they do to all these men of God. Mm -hmm. And all these uh, sorcerers that say that they are, they are for God. So when they appear in the city, you will hear their name, you know, um, uh, this person is coming, this person is coming. You mm -hmm. see people, they rush. What do they rush for? They want to come and grab, uh, you know, after grabbing, that is the end of it. And you know one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, the funny thing there, these people, because of what they want, they are pushing these men of God and mm -hmm. women of God to do what they don't supposed to, to do. do. The people that doesn't have the gift of vision, mm -hmm. the gift of prophecy, mm -hmm. they will now push them to go and get acquire 
extra power. power. Mm. To be able to give them what exactly. they desire. So, multitude the is very dangerous. Yeah, very, very dangerous. Like I was talking to one of the pastor, I, I, told, I told him, I said, what I observe in this mm. thing is that people is just good in or if you are good to prophesy for us or perform mm -hmm. miracle, we come across we come right. to, across to you. Mm -hmm. If you are not ready for that, they are not ready for the truth, they are not ready for the kingdom minded one. You know, so I now begin to understand that Satan is very crafty mm -hmm. and Satan have robbed the church of God mm -hmm. by giving them, you know, this misunderstanding mm -hmm. of what the kingdom of God is. So this problem started from the early time oh, when yeah. Christ is. Mm -hmm. Because what he just said, like in my own, I want to, let me just come in because before I come, uh, because this program is going to be short. Um, let's go to Luke 12. Okay. In Luke chapter 12, so that is something I saw there. Luke chapter 12 verse just 13 and the 14. 13 says, Then one from the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance mm -hmm. with me. Remember he said, then one of the crowd, so mm -hmm. these are still the crowd, multitude. the multitude. Yeah. He said to him, teacher, tell the brother, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to them, man, who made me a judge or an ab arbitrator over you? And he said to them, take heed that beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Possess. What is Jesus telling the multitude here? Mm. You see that what is Jesus telling them here? He's telling them that the crowd, that you people must be very careful. Mm -hmm. They are not interested in the teaching of the Lord Jesus. That's they right. are there just to the miracle hour so that they can be satisfied to their covetousness, to their desires, and you know, to just to sap Jesus and, and get what they want and they just leave. They're not, they are empty for spiritual things. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. And these are what is happening in the church today. Members are not ready for spiritual things. Mm -hmm. They are not ready for the kingdom business. They are not ready for anything that will give them eternity. Mm -hmm. What they are ready for, what can you give to us? What, can you prophesy? Can you tell us what is happening in your can life? You can, you, can you see vision? Can you tell us who is killing us and who is saving us? Also, and can you pray for this miracle to take place? So you see that they are not ready to, to wait for God's intimacy. Mm -hmm. they, they are not even thinking of what shall I do to save my soul. So these people, they are, God is not happy about that level of uh, a crowd in the Christian. So these things are the things that, you know, giving God uh, the stubborn. These are the things that is worrying god about our life and our about our christianity mm. in this end time so can you wrap up this program so yeah. what do you want to say more yeah you know one thing i want to add you know the the dangerous thing the danger there is that you know christ is not even bothered about hmm. crowd yeah he's not bothered about the multitude wow because he knew all men he hmm. knew they had that they are very deceived yes hmm. so nobody needs to tell him about man hmm. you don't wonder anytime he's so, in the pharisees telling them what is mm -hmm. in their mind that's right knowing that they are just here for fun they yeah. are not here for repentance yeah because christ fed the multitudes but he pastored only 12 mm. and he didn't care. Wonderful. So the 12 he pastored mm -hmm. did what? Mm -hmm. Turn the world upside, upside down. down. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. So at this point, that means Jesus is aware that mm -hmm. this multitude, oh, yeah. he can't trust them. Oh, yeah. And that is why he separated mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. one he pastored mm -hmm. and empowered them to That's be carrying right. the gospel. That's right. And at this point, I want to encourage you. There are some men of God. Mm -hmm. You are worried that you don't have much members. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. It's not how many members you carry that will give you the crown excuse me what give you crown in kingdom of god is the single soul you want for god That's and right. you're nurtured and bring to heaven that is what will give you crown multitude doesn't give crown so i want to encourage you and these are the things that make some pastors they will go and be looking for extra powers they're looking for extra things to do to be able to drag people Holy Spirit is the one that drag members. Mm -hmm. He is the one that draw people close to himself. So stop making all those additions to, to support yourself. No, it is not needed. That is not Jesus' kingdom. Except you are building your own empire. You can able And you know what? Because they are building their empires, mm -hmm. their business. So they are looking for a way to make the business structured in a way it will prosper in their own way to make multiple uh, 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 incomes. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? That's because right. if they know that this is God's business, mm -hmm. they don't need to get extra money to get something to support That's because right. he who has the business mm -hmm. has something to do. Mm -hmm. So I think that the pastors and this end time, they will have you know, brainwash them. They will have finished them. This spirit of Babylon, this Jezebelian spirit have mm -hmm. make them off. He has finished them. And that is why today they are make mock mockery. Mm -hmm. When you talk of about them, you see a lot of mockery. So mm -hmm. um can you wrap up this finally? Yes. So um my my advice 
to pastors out there and even the multitudes, mm -hmm. you still have the grace because you are still breathing. Mm -hmm. So the earlier you go back to your first love, the mm -hmm. better. Go back to Christ. Mm -hmm. Seek God. Amen. Seek his kingdom and Amen. his righteousness. Amen. And all other things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and mm. lose your soul? Hallelujah. So there is nothing. Mm. Nothing. So please, you pastors, do not allow these people to seduce you because that's, that's what they are doing. That is it. Some of you started well, mm. but because of... They want to satisfy the multitude. Exactly. You mm. want to end in hell. Mm. Hell is not a place to go. Please. Thank you so much. Go back and re repent. Return so back much. to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, uh, it's just we are here to encourage the, the brethren and to also to pray with you that you feel that um, your own has ended because you have not been hearing from God or because you don't know the word of God. No, don't be discouraged. We brought an, a, a solution for you. That solution is all about Holy Ghost School. Mm -hmm. When you take up Holy Ghost School, it's just where God build relationship with us. Mm -hmm. If you watch this four group as we keep you know analyzing it you will eventually know where you fall into but generally jesus is calling us to deep to create an intimacy with him mm -hmm. to know him better to come closer and eat the bread and they drink the blood because he's a covenant keeping god he wants to join hands to carry this suffering he wants us to join hands to come to the cross because he, he died for us so and also the kingdom of god is at hand so holy ghost school simply means you must have a time of go inside with god to know who he is and it's only when you get that time to study your bible and stand your faith in every trial you are going through you really want to know god then he will come and reveal himself to you this is all about this school holy ghost school one or two hours every day make it a school and don't miss it. Make it a covenant. Go there. In that your small place. In that your bigger house. You begin to communicate with God. He'll be giving you revelations. People are looking for how do I hear from God. You can God can speak to anybody. He speaks to sinners. He speaks to righteous mm -hmm. ones. But he just needs your attention. So God is seeking for attention right now in this end time. Kindly give him your own attention in your house. And make it a school. Thank you for joining this program. Can you pray please? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Thank we you, give Jesus. you praise, we honor you, thank glorify you, your holiness. Yes, Holy Lord. Spirit divine, thank you for helping thank us. You, Jesus. Thank you for talking to thank your you, people. Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord God thank Almighty, you, Father. Abba Father, that mm. you touch your people, Lord Amen. God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Abba Father, King of glory, eternal rock of ages, ancient of days, Holy touch Spirit, you are the one, you, oh King of glory, that will make this back happen. Arrest them, arrest your people, bring back your children, back to your Bring that change. Restore them ransom, back to oh yourself in the in name the of name Jesus. Of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. And if, oh, for our contact, you can reach us um, in 647-533-6702. Can you tell them your number, please? Not America. 832-258-6590. And you can also reach us in um, Holy Ghost School 1 at gmail.com. Thank you and God bless.